So leading the three-year-olds onto the track for tonight's second $73,000 division of the jug preview with exacta trifecta and pick three wagering. Closing in on $125,000 in earnings this season with five wins, including a division of the Cleveland Classic. Number one is Michaels Western, owned by the partnership of J.R. Ramsburg and D.J. Altmeyer of Maryland and Pennsylvania, trained by Dan Altmeyer, the driver Mike Wilder. Just over $83,000 in the bank for this three-year-old son of Arturo. Just missing in a fast mile last time around at Freehold Raceway. He's a big rascal, owned by Victor, the TLP stable, Delegant Stable 9, and our Sultan of New York and New Jersey, trained by Noel Daly with Brett Miller up. A Pittsburgh invader who had strung together two fast victories, including an invitational win, a few starts back at the Meadows. Number three is Bernard Isaacs, fancy schmancy, conditioned by Gary Martin with Brian Sears driving. With a mark of 154 taken right here at Scioto Downs, number four is Arf Arf, owned by Benny Eggers, J.D. Burnett, and James Morris of Ohio. Ben Eggers trains Walter Case Jr. as the pilot. This next three-year-old son of Art's place came from off the pace to just miss by a length and a half in the $450,000 final of the Hoosier Cup. He's a six-time winner on the season with a mark of 150 and three at the Meadowlands. Number five is Art's Tribute, owned by the Brittany Farms and Daisy Acres, trained by Brett Pelling and driven by David Miller. With a 153 and four mark taken at Northfield Park, Number six is the Ross Stable Limited's Stand for Something, conditioned by Dale Ross. Dave Hawk is in the bike. And finally, from post seven, the East Coast Invader with a fast mark, courtesy of a win in the New Jersey Sire Stakes leg at Freehold Raceway, 153 and two. Perfect World Enterprises, Thesis Hanover, trained by Brett Pelling and driven by Ron Pierce. That's your field for tonight's 10th race, the second division of the Jug Preview, post time at five. They're lined up for the second division of the Jug Preview. They are off and quickest to begin. It's Fancy Schmancy. He and Brian Sears go straight to the lead, and they open up by two lengths. Michaels Western comes away in the second spot as the rest of them line up. He's a big rascal from the inside, is third by two, followed by Arts Tribute, then it's R5, stand for something, and Thesis Hanover is the early trailer. 15 lengths cover the field as they move to head stretch, and fronting the field, it's Fancy Schmancy. Fancy Schmancy, the Meadows Invader, is in charge by a length and a half through an opening quarter in a fast 26 and three. Michaels Western follows in from second, followed by He's a Big Rascal drafting in from third. Next, it's Arts Tribute. He's content to sit in fourth to this stage, followed by R5, and then we get for something and Thesis Hanover trails the single file field as they move into the clubhouse turn with Fancy Schmancy having it his way in here. Fancy Schmancy leads the way by a length and a quarter. Michaels Western is racing in second. He's a big rascal third and Arts Tribute can wait no longer. Uh, David Miller pulls the favor to the outside, and he's soaring up first over. The half goes in 55 seconds flat. Stand for something gets into the action now. Second over from fifth now into fourth. R5 shuffle back to second last. Thesis Hanover is off the pylons trailing with seven lengths to make up. Five sixteenths of a mile left to pace. As they move on to the far turn, it's Fancy Schmancy by one length. But Arts Tribute is creeping up on the outside to challenge, followed by Michaels Western locked up in the box. Stand for something is on the outside and gapping cover, followed by he's a big rascal. 122 and four. Moving around to the top of the stretch. Fancy Schmancy clings to a narrow lead. Arts Tribute is breathing down his neck. Those two are together as they come down the stretch. And Arts Tribute powers into command. Fancy Schmancy could not go with him. Followed by Michaels Western down the inside. Arts Tribute avenges his Hoosier Cup loss. He wins the second division of the preview in 151. Finishing second was Fancy Schmancy over Michaels. Western. And ladies and gentlemen, once again, 
It's David Miller returning to the winner's circle he knows so well. He scored his second straight victory tonight in the Jug Preview. This time he scores with Art's Tribute in 151. Arch Tribute is a three-year-old son of Arch Place from Nukes Magic by No Nukes, owned by the Brittany Farms, and Daisy Akers, trained by Brett Pelling and driven a victory by David Miller. Back-to-back -back victories for both Brett Pelling and David Miller in the Jug Preview tonight, the seventh win on the season for Arch Tribute. He scores in 151, and that is a track record for three-year-old Colts. Once again in the winner's circle, helping to make the presentation of the winning connections was Vice President of Scioto Downs, Mrs. Laverne Hill, our General Manager and President of Scioto Downs, Edward Ryan, and Director of Racing, Jimmy Ort. with uh, David Miller and Laverne Hill. It's John Pavlock. Oh, once this Miller kid starts winning at Sciata Downs, he can't give it up. A much different trip this time. You were living on the outside with this one. Yeah, um, all, all along, th this horse, he's, uh, he showed a lot of ability and uh, uh, just tremendous uh, guts there. And uh, I, I was happy to see the fractions in this race. And uh, even though he'd been off all, all that time, I knew Brett would uh, have him in pretty good shape and uh, he raced great. You know, he's obviously an outstanding horse, very much deserving of this new track record, 151, and likely one we'll see in Delaware, Ohio, on that uh, Thursday afternoon. However, uh, he just did not go to the top uh, quickly. Was that by, uh, by design, the way you nursed him to the top? Well, yeah, we, we were going along there pretty good, sure. you know, and, and uh, I, I knew uh, he felt real strong in the last turn. I, I thought I could get by Brian and uh, hold off anybody else who's coming. I mean, he's just been a, a horse that uh, usually don't give it up too easy. Brett Pelling has a way of winning races in bunches. One year at Delaware, he swept every heat in the Jug and Jugget combined first time since Billy Houghton had done this. Is this the horse you hope to drive in the big one? Yeah, yeah. Brett, he does a good job, and uh, hopefully we'll be there at Delaware Thursday. David, congratulations. David Miller, winner of uh, number two uh, division of the Jug Preview here tonight with Arts Tribute, a horse I guarantee you'll see in Delaware, Ohio, in a few weeks in the Little Brown Jug. Brian?